All right guys, welcome to the Lightforge installation instructions video. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering how to find your download, how to download it, and how to install it in Unreal Engine. All right guys, so the first thing that I wanna cover here is that you can always find your downloads right here on the dashboard page of the website. So just make sure that you're logged into the website, go to the dashboard page, and then if you click right here, you can go to your downloads. You can also go to balance-resource.com slash my account slash downloads. And here we have Lightforge for Unreal Engine 5.3.1 and 5.3.2. We have Lightforge for 5.2.1. And then I've also included Path Tracer Pro for you guys. Now, an important thing to point out here is if you're going to be using Lightforge, you do not need Path Tracer Pro. So I included this so that you would have it just in case you wanted it or needed it for some reason. But Lightforge contains all of the capabilities that are included with Path Tracer Pro. So you don't need to install both and I don't recommend installing both because in Unreal Engine 5.3.2 there is a bug where you actually won't be able to see Lightforge if you have Path Tracer Pro installed. We're currently working on a solution to this problem but there's not really too much we can do until Epic Games fixes this issue. So just be aware if you are going to use Lightforge just use Lightforge, don't bother with Path Tracer Pro. And I'll show you guys where that bug happens a little bit later. So make sure that you download the proper Lightforge version based on which version of Unreal Engine you're using. So if you're using Unreal Engine 5.2.1, you're gonna to wanna to download that version. If you're using 5.3.2 or 5.3.1, you're gonna to wanna to download the other version. And we're gonna be continuing to update with each new version. So Lightforge 5.3.2 works with 5.3.2 or 5.3.1, just so you guys know that. And also any future versions, we're going to continue to update these with each new version of the engine. And you're going to need to download that version that matches whichever version of the engine that you're using. So what you're going to be downloading is a .zip file, okay? So this is a compressed file, as you can see here. And the way that we extract these is we click on it, and then we're going to right-click again. I have 7-zip, uh, so you can go 7-zip and then extract files. Or uh, you can also hit extract all. Um, I believe in most Windows versions, this is an option, so you can click that as well. And that's going to give you an actual folder where we can browse the contents. And this is going to have our installation instructions in here. If we double click on that, you're gonna find a link to the Lightforge Resources Hub, which is gonna be hosted on the website. So you can go there to find this video and some other training videos to get you up and running with Lightforge. And then you're also gonna find the plugin. So what we wanna to do to install Lightforge is copy this plugin. So we're gonna click on it, just this folder called Lightforge, and we're gonna hit Control C, or you can right click and then go to copy. And then we're gonna to navigate to our Unreal Engine folder. So we're gonna to go to our local disk, and then we're gonna to go to Program Files, and then we're gonna find Epic Games. And then you're gonna to need to navigate to whichever version of Unreal Engine you're installing this for. So I'm gonna do Unreal Engine 5.3. So I'm gonna double click on that. And then I'm gonna go into the Engine folder, okay? And then we're gonna go into the Plugins folder. We're almost there. And now we're gonna see that we have all of the plugins that we have installed for Unreal Engine listed right in here. And you can see that I actually already have Lightforge installed. You won't have this Lightforge folder, so all you're gonna do is right click um, and then click on paste. And for me, I already have this installed, so you know uh, I'm gonna skip this. But once you have pasted this folder, now you have Lightforge installed as a plugin for Unreal Engine. So all we have to do now is go to the Epic Games Launcher go to library, and then we can open up a project or we can make a new project. Okay, so I'm inside of my project, and now all we have to do is go up here to edit, and then go down to plugins, and then we can just search for Lightforge, and you can see it right here, and we're just gonna click on this little box right here, so this is not going to be enabled for you guys. Uh, it's enabled for me because I've already installed it. So we're just gonna click on that. We're gonna then have to go down here and restart the engine, and once the engine has restarted, all we have to do is go up here to Window, and then we can go down here, and we have Lightforge right here. So you can see that right here, I have the Lightforge option available, as well as the Path Tracer Pro version. And that is because I'm recording this video in Unreal Engine 5.3.1. In Unreal Engine 5.3.2, if you have 
Path Tracer Pro and Lightforge both activated. So you went into your edit and then your plugins, and then you activated both Path Tracer Pro and Lightforge. You will probably not have Lightforge available in this window menu, or you might have Lightforge but not Path Tracer Pro. So to be clear, you can install both plugins if you choose, but make sure that you only have the one that you're using active in your project when you're using it because of this bug in Unreal Engine 5.3.2. In 5.3.1, you should be fine, and also 5.2.1, uh, you shouldn't have any problems, but there is that bug in 5.3.2. So just so that you guys are aware, only activate Lightforge in your project. And so we'll click on that, and it's gonna open it up as its own window right here. So what I like to do, you can uh, move this anywhere you want. If you have multiple screens, you can move this over to another screen if you want. I like to dock it right here next to my world outliner. And now we can easily optimize our scene very quickly and, you know, set these important uh, functions and we're pretty much good to go. And then if we want to render, we can go up here, find our sequence, click on render. And we have our render passes loaded up already directly from Lightforge. So uh, now we can click a render pass, choose our file output path, and we can render the scene right away and we're good to go. So hopefully that installation guide was helpful for you guys. I will continue to update this video if there are changes in the future to how Unreal Engine works with plugins or if there's anything that needs to be updated. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching.